Brent can't cook, Viet and Alton Brown. And I told him about Trent Cook, and he was like, Sweet. And then I told him about us being on Food Networks, food2.com, and have our own little series there. And he was like, well, Let me check this card again. And I was like, Really? You heard of us? No freaking way. Anyhow, I was excited enough to get a picture and a video of him. Is that Trent can't cook. What's up, guys? Trank and Cook today, and do we have a slam dunk episode for you? That's right, and that ain't <laughs> cheesy. <laughs> what we have here is the most highly requested recipe and the most quintessential Vietnamese sauce, which is the Vietnamese nuk mum. Fish sauce, guys. Exactly. AKA the carrot sauce. Exactly. And uh, without further ado, we're gonna go inside and start that stew. Let's go. All right, guys, Trank and Cook's fish sauce right here. What we do is start with two types of fish sauce. One that we like to use a lot is the three crabs fish sauce right here. And also a little bit saltier version of fish sauce, the squid brand sauce, right here. Get started. All right, guys, it's real simple. This is going to be the pre-boil part of it. Okay, we already measured out three cups of water. Okay, so we have it here in this bowl. I measured out about a little more than three quarters of a cup of the crab uh, brand. We're going to pour that in right now. Okay. All right, and then we have about maybe three tablespoons of the squid. Uh, we're mixing in both flavors is kind of our thing where you don't necessarily have to do that, but we like to have to have the best of both worlds. Squeeze a little saltier than the other, so we can go ahead and start mixing that. We actually have one cup here of white sugar, okay guys? We're going to pour that in. One cup here. It always seems like a lot, but trust me, you're going to love it in the end, okay? Look at all that. Look at all that. Woo! Okay? Mix that together. And we have two-thirds cup of white distilled vinegar. So we're going to pour that in here. Alright, and that's what's going to kind of give it its tanginess. It's kind of like the sweet, the, 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 the take kick, if you will, okay? We're going to stir that a little bit right before we start to boil. Okay, so now we're about to boil. What we're going to do is turn on the flame here, alright? And we're going to want to bring this to a boil to about, maybe boil to about three, two, three minutes. That way you make sure that the sugar's all dissolved and all the flavors meld together, okay? So pour that just carefully. Woo! Pour that in. And uh, we'll let it simmer. Thanks, Kevin, for that bowl. Now, for the rest of the ingredients, all we're going to need for the fish sauce is garlic, mm -hmm. some one lime, and some sambal chili sauce, all right? So I'm going to get this chopped away. And what I have here, a rough chop, I need about three or four cloves of garlic. Now, everybody has their own preference. You can add a little more or a little less. But, uh, you know, we want to make sure you add this when it's cooled down. Now that the fish sauce has been sitting in the fridge for about a couple hours, uh, all we got to do is add our last ingredients, which is basically just the garlic, lime, and the chili. Now, everybody has their own variation of the fish sauce, and if it's a little bit too salty for you, then add a little more water and a little more sugar to correct it. And if it's if you need more punch to it, then add a little more uh, lime, all right? And if you want to be really exquisite, maybe you can add a little bit of lemon. And then the last part is to add a little bit of heat, which is our chili uh, garlic sauce here. There you have it, Nuk Mang, our finished product here, what you guys are waiting for, all right? Now, the thing you want to look for here for the finished product is just the color. All right, what we have here is perfect. You want it just kind of looking like apple, between apple juice and kind of apple cider. So that's the color you're kind of looking for there. All right, Ray, I'm going to go ahead and check out your Vietnamese fish sauce here. Stir it up. Wow. Like that. Wow. Uh, hands down. The best <laughs> Vietnamese fish sauce I've had. The best traditional one. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> well, I gotta thank my mom for the recipe. You know, she's perfected this recipe so many times, and I gotta say, it's one of the best. Not only that, you can store this sauce in your fridge for a couple months, and there you have, you know, a traditional sauce in your fridge. That's awesome. right. You know what I mean? Thank you, Mama Trey. Exactly. Uh, guys, did you see how easy that was? One, two, three, and you're done. You have yourself a great A top notch Vietnamese fish sauce to share with any one of your Vietnamese favorite dishes that you have. Okay. Alright guys, so if we can cook, you can cook, Trey can cook. See y'all later guys. Uh, introduction, scene for Nook Mom. Take one, sorry, three, two, one.
Oh, no. Dude, exactly what we want, kind of between like apple sauce and apple sauce. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it.